Hello and welcome to the online request for quotation how to modify the outgoing email to the vendor. So in this session we will see how we can easily modify the content of the email text and see how this uh, updates the outgoing email that go that will go to the vendor. So in order to do so uh, you will need to um, either from within the integration framework aux export the uh, content package of the RFQ or um, which I'm going to focus on uh, the session today is going to be how you can use a, a web dev client like CyberDuck to connect to your integration framework and from within the CyberDuck edit the content of the XML file to modify the content of the email. So first let's uh, um, see how we can open CyberDuck and uh, if you want to see how to connect a CyberDuck to your integration framework, you can watch another uh, video I've created on how to connect your CyberDuck to the integration framework. And uh, just to show you here, I have a couple of uh, bookmarks here. One of them is actually connects to the uh, integration framework by uh, going to the um, machine, uh, port 8080, and then under the B1i accelerator, uh, exec, and then the web dev directory, which will take you to the main root folder um, of the integration framework. So if you... Um, open the web tab uh, uh, connection contact content, you will see that, uh, or you'll find under the uh, Chrome SAP B1 web apps, another subfolder that is called purchase quote. And if you expand that, you will see that you have here um, the logo file, that's the logo is this is the file that's being used as the logo for the email, uh, 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 for the, a HTML page that shows uh, for the vendor and also we will see here the content of the email uh, in multiple languages and based on the language that is defined in our system um, the, the corresponding file will be used in this case let's select the English which I'm using here so with CyberDuck you can just right click on the file and then click on edit and I do have a Notepad++, so let's open and edit this with Notepad++, which is installed on my system. And uh, here we can see the translation file for all the uh, communication that you have with uh, the RFQ application. So any type of error message or, or uh, headers um, that are being used within the application of the request for quotation will show up here and be able to modify them. Um, uh, one of them will be also the content of the email that is being sent. And, um, and you can see here, those are different type of uh, uh, content of uh, or lines for the email lines that are being uh, included in the email. Um, and in our case, let me just change something simple. For example, this is the uh, dear vendor and your quotation for RFQ is this number and it's successfully sent and so on. But uh, let's just change the uh, uh, one of the uh, ending. So the regular ending is going to be the best regards, but let's add here something else. Let's say best regards and thank you. So I will see, show you how this actually you're going to change also the content of the email. So let's save this. And you see that it is a uh, server that uploads that directly to and the integration framework uh, using WebDAV. And now when we have this updated, I can go to SAP and whenever I'm going to generate a new online request for, for quotation, the e email that's going to be sent is going to include the thank you at the end as well. Uh, before it was only best regards and now it's going to also include the thank you. And just to show you maybe uh, other, uh, let's show you other emails that I, I got in the past. And you can see here, for example, I have only the best regards in the email. It's going 
to the vendor. And now let's generate a new one. Select the vendor, select the date, inquire date for the delivery, select items. And also I'm going to select the required quantity. Don't forget to go to the logistic tab and mark the create online quotation. And now we can add. And this will generate for this purchase quotation an online request for quotation. And shortly we're going to get an email to the vendor that will include the link to the online request for quotation. Here the email arrived and let me open here. Let's do send receive. And this is the new email. And you can see here I have the best regards and also the what I did the end thank you at the end, just after the best regards. So this is uh, how you're going to uh, change the content of the email uh, and the text of the email uh, that is being sent to the vendor as part of the online request for quotation of SAP Business One. Thank you.